Hello Light YouTube and welcome to another Gwent video. I'm Yummy Dads. Now like you like I said last video, we're about to open a new bunch of kegs that I got from all the matches I had like on the ranked like version of the game, I guess, on the, the ranked menu. So like you know, I've been I started playing the ranked matches and right now we're at like rank two. I keep like it's getting really hard for me to get up to rank two. I keep getting to only six hundred and something and then I get back and then get up and get back and back get up. So I decided it's time to open new kegs and see what kind of cards I can add to my decks. Right now I've got built a monster deck, a Societal Hell deck, and a Skellige deck. I'm yet to build like a Nilfgaard. Stop fighting, troll! St I'm yet to build a, a North Northern Realms deck and a Nilfgaard deck because I'm still not confident with those strategies. I really like the strategy of the Nilfgaard deck because of the spies. But right now I don't think I have enough cards to feel confident. So I'm going to open the deck, see if I get new cards for any of the decks I've already built, or... If I can get cards to get new decks and new strategies. Right now my strategy for the Societe Hell deck is based on special cards. That's it, like my Societe Hell deck is based on the use of special cards and empowering and my creatures and depowering my opponent's creatures. The Buster deck is based on the Devour ability and on the you know the Devour and the, the, the Fog. It's basically it. But mostly my Monster deck is based on Having units on the field and having the devour ability help. And my Skellige deck, like most Skellige decks, is based on uh, revival. It's like a mixture of revival and opponent damage. Like a mixture of me reviving my creatures and taking uh, points from my opponent, but it's most like it's basically just 80% of the strategy is reviving my own creatures and empowering my own creatures. Um, Right now my decks are a little bit mixed because I don't have that many cards, like I said, that's why I'm opening more kegs. But as I'm getting more cards, I'll be building more specific decks, instead of being a mixture hey, of damage and man. revival, maybe just I revival, I don't know. Rocks. I'll try to make more specific strategies for you guys. And for me too. But right Smart now we're about to open 7 kegs. Right. Okay, and see what kind of cards we get. Human Let's see if we get more gold cards. I Last time I did the keg video, we got that uh, rooster gold card that I read poorly. I thought that was going to be on my side and make some units appear on my side. But no, it appears yeah. it kills every unit on the field and spawns a 12 powered gold unit on my opponent's field. Which is horrible, but I'm trying to find a way to make that work with my revival deck. I mean, if I can destroy every creature that they have, if I can play in a way that forces Human them to play time. all the creatures, and me to play Just all the creatures, all the units I mean, and I play uh, that card, and it kills everyone and spawns a 12 uh, gold card unit on their side of the field, but I can take advantage of that because they have no more units to play and I can just revive my own. But enough of that, let's open the kegs and see what kind of cards we get. Okay. Give me the card, troll. Monster card. Okay, another run warrior. That's cool. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people with gold cards like Unifer, like Siri, like another cool gold cards, and I'm barely getting any cool any gold cards. I don't know. Am I missing something? Do I have to actually spend money on the cards? Because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to start spending money to buy new cards. I'll get them as I play. Nice. Oh, we very big guy. That's cool. This is really good for the new card deck. I already have this card. I don't use it a lot. Nice. I also have this card too. Continue. Oh, let's see here. Well, okay. These are cool. I like this. I'm probably going to choose the epidemic. This is also... A if your opponent is not best, draw a card and your opponent draws a card and reveals it. This is cool for the Nilfgaard deck. I don't know if I should choose this one or this one. They're both cool. I think I'm going to choose this one for the Nilfgaard deck. It helps this guy just reveals a card which empowers the creatures on the, the units on the Nilfgaard deck. And uh, I'm sorry, Human before I want another kick. It empowers the creature the by. units on the Nilfgaard deck and shows me my opponent's Shoot. cards. See so okay, let's open another wow card deck. Keg, another card keg. Okay. Skillage card. Gain weather immunity, discard all clan, all clan denim pirates from your deck. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, but yeah. It's like I discard them and then I can go there and get them with this thing. Whoa! With this, the... Oh, we're well, literally like an... I don't know if I had this card, probably had. Like, it's a very Goody. basic card from the um, Northern Realms deck. But, oh, I didn't have this one. This is a really good, cool card. Oh, I had one, I think, for the Nilfgaard deck. I'm I thinking I can build a Nilfgaard deck by now. What's this? A three string to each non gold machine played on your side. This is really cool for the Northern Realms deck. The Northern Realms uses a lot of Siege cards. Ooh. These are cool cards. Earth Elemental. When removed from the battlefield, spawn three lesser Earth Elementals on a row when the unit was. Hermion. Ooh, this might be cool. Discard two cards, then this draw two cards and discard two cards. Hawkeys. Lock or unlock a non-gold unit on the battlefield. Locked units lose all tokens and have no ability until replayed or removed to a hand. Hmm. This is basically um, the card that I have. I forgot the name. The golem that spawns another cards, another golems. So it's cool. I really like this card, but I think I'm going to choose between these two. This is a really good card because I can lock another, because I can lock or unlock other cards. I could choose the gold card that allows me to draw two cards and then discard two cards, but I'm going to choose this one. I'm just, I'm, one, I'm wanting to build a Nilfgaard, Nilfgaard deck, and this is really cool. Black Bean, my, especially with the Societe Hell deck, where I use a lot of um, resilience cards, this card keeps screwing me over. Prices for humans so of all game. walks. Okay, okay, I pressed the button. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, I love the troll. This is like one of the best parts of the game. Queen's Guard, Return to Bill's Guard, and add one based on your series unit, wherever it is. Wherever it is. Oh, okay. That's not one thing I have this card. It's cool. I already have this one. After this, I can just go mill some cards. Or they have this too. Oh, this is so good! I don't think I had this. Combat Energy, Toggle the Resilience. Yes! Toggle, I, took, I have to build a Nilfgaard deck. Toggle the resilience of a non-gold unit on your side of the battlefield. A resilience unit stays on the battlefield for the next round. Yes, this is re I like, I love the resilience ability. Ooh, what is this? This is cool. Reinforce each tower. Gain two strength whenever the gold card appears on your side of the field. This is cool, but I don't have enough gold cards, I think. You move two strength from a random opposing non-gold unit. Whatever a card is either in either end is revealed. Oh, this is, this is like, for the Nilfgaard deck, this is really cool. Spawn two waste copies of a breathable unit on your side of the field. Like I said, I'm going to choose this one right now because I'm trying to really strong Nilfgaard deck. Yeah, let's open another day, another keg. Okay, control, give me the cards. Give me cool cards. Another first light. A lot of first lights. Ooh, I've got to put this on my Societe Hell deck. This is so cool. It's like you put it, and after two turns it reveals. They, they will think it's a trap, but it's just a creature. It's a really powerful unit. See, this is cool. Okay, this is cool. It's a very basic monster de ca monster deck card, nice. but it's cool. Yes, another combat engineer. Now for more. Oh. I have Scorch, I have this. I, I could play another Scorch, but I don't, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to put two Scorch cards in any deck, so I don't think that's really important. So I'm going to uh, choose the Reinforced Trish to Rebochet. Return to remove one strength from a random opposing non-gold unit. Yep. Let's open another keg. I don't remember how much I've opened. Four? Three more to go? Okay. Come on, Trolley! Okay, what's this? Oh, this is cool. A tree strength to adjust a non-gold unit. It's like uh, the healer from the Society of Hell. The core, I don't think I'm going to add it. But it's cool to have it. An alchemist. It's nice. really cool for the Nilfgaard deck. And another Berserker Marauder. Oh. Berserker Marauder. <laughs> okay, I already have this one. So I'm not going to like get another leader card. Spo what's this now? Oh, I think I'm going to choose the fake Siri. It's really cool, but I'm going to read what Margarita locks until. Is this a character? I keep forgetting some of the characters. I haven't played the game in a while. 
spawn an uh, a resident edit whatever the gold card appears on your side of the field. See, like, to play the Northern Realms deck, I need to have more gold cards to put in there. Because every single one of these cards is cool for that. But I'm going to choose Fake Siri. Fake Siri has made me lost so many games. So many games. I think two more. I have two more kegs to open. Which will blow that barrel up, that keg up. Ta da! Oh, the reverse count. Always cool. Another Black Infantry Arbalest. What is this? At the end of every turn, reset all other non gold units. Wait. Dennis Cranmer. At the end of every turn, reset all other non gold units on the row to bait trains. Oh, this is cool. If they do, Ooh, this is really cool. If I have. If I'm playing against. Oh, finally, I have like a counter for that Unifer card that just keeps. That Unifer. Those. Um. Siege cards that just keep taking points away from me. I put this in every card it resets. Every turn it resets, so whatever, that's not going to do any damage. And another clan for the Rod Shield Smith. Okay, I already have all of these cards, so what shall I do? Cover to gold until removed from the battlefield. Mm, yes, I think I'm going to choose this one. It's not making much sense to me. Okay, I think I have one more keg. Let's not leave this in an anticlimactic stuff like last time. I opened kegs intended in a really anticlimactic nice. way. Guard the skirmisher. Oh, another RP. I may have this. I like the RPs. Oh, the Alba Spearman. This is really cool. Nice. Another episode of another. I'm going to mail a lot of cards. Oh, okay. Fire Scorpion already have this, so I'm not going to use it, but I can choose between these two. The Griffin's cool, it remo moves a non gold card from your opponent's graveyard to your own. But I think I'm going to choose this. I really want this card, and I didn't choose it earlier because it had a better one, but I think I'm going to choose this Human one. Spot is okay, I don't have more kegs. Right, okay. No, I don't. So, guys! Thank you for watching this video. The kegs are open. I'm going to build some new decks. If you guys want to see me like make videos of I deck building, I'll start doing that, but please tell like me that in the comments. Griffin. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. Please come back to see my Let's Play of Gwent and my new video that I'm going to start making it probably last month. Last, I'm sorry. Next uh. month. Still trying to schedule everything, but maybe next month I'll start to have a, like a more serious channel. Please come back for that. But for now, find your yummy. Yeah, me. See you next time.